I was born in Chicago on the south side. I try to go somewhere warm during the winter. I first went to the British Virgin Islands in 1979. I love being on the island. I love the water and the colors. I have been photographing people and the old lifestyle there for the last almost 40 years. I've really tried to capture the spirit of a people and a lifestyle that's kind of disappearing. When Ms. Waller found out that the brain tumor that she had been following for the last 10 years that was found uh, incidentally on a body scan had grown, she came to see me to find out what kind of treatment options she had. He showed me the MRIs from last year and the one that had just been taken. And he said, well, this is the size of the small tumor and this is where it is. And I think the best course of action is to take it out. And I, and I really tried to have my big girl panties on because I was kind of freaked out. We had essentially three options to treat her tumor. We could have done a conventional approach where we make a big incision and open a big opening in the bone in order to elevate the brain and get access to that tumor. We could have gone through the nose with an endoscope. When we considered all the details of her imaging and all the details of her tumor, we decided that the best approach for her was to make a small incision hidden in her eyebrow with a keyhole opening about the size of a nickel in the bone and use endoscopes to get down to the tumor. That approach allowed us to minimize the manipulation and trauma on the brain, allowed us to take the whole tumor out completely, and essentially cure her of this tumor. Everyone expected like this big like Frankenstein gash across my head. It healed really well, it was small. It was a good recovery, I was driving in about a week. I was you know, able to move around, take care of myself. If the tumor had been larger, if it had been impinging on any part of my brain that affected speech, walking, my ability to take photographs, to communicate with people, life would be different. I feel really grateful for having the experience at Evanston and having Dr. Wong, he's some fabulous guy.